Hey there folks, Dave Shrine here, excited to show you how to set up a webinar using Demio. If you've never used Demio before, uh, if this is your first time ever hearing about it, I highly recommend it. Back in the day, there were only a few webinar providers, and today there's a whole host of them. Demio finds himself as one of the providers that kind of showed up in the middle kind of on the right side towards the end. And they've done a fantastic job of simplifying the webinar process, making the webinar process registration a lot easier, and doing a lot of really great innovative things that other webinar providers have never done. So this video is all about just showing you what it looks like on the back end. Now I'm recording this video in the summer of 2020. So by the time you're watching this, it may look a little bit different, but the features are probably the same. I highly recommend Demio, but you're going to be the person in the best position to decide if Demio is right for you. So I'll just go ahead, walk you through what it looks like for me to set up a webinar for one of my clients. And if you have any questions, you can put them in the comment section below. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, yeah, let's get going. So when you take a look here and log in to Demio with your account, you see that you have two tabs here. You have the schedule tab, you have the events, and this is what you're gonna see the first time, is my first webinar experience on Demio. Now you can go in there and you can explore what the webinar looks like after it's been all set up and uh, everything's been created uh, by them so you can see how everything fits or you can just go straight to creating a new event and that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna click on the events tab and when we do that, we have the option here to click add new event. Now you can see I've already run one event inside of Demio and I'll show you at the end what the analytics look like. They do a really great job of providing helpful analytics. Like I said, these guys created it uh, for content marketers, for digital marketers. Um, you know, there's a lot of other webinar providers out there. Uh, their systems are not really geared towards content marketers. All of the integrations you could want, Demio either has them or is headed the direction that you're probably looking for. So we're gonna click Add New Event and we can create a standard, a series, or an automated. So um, if you're gonna do a series, say, hey, we've got three trainings coming up, it's all part of the same series, that's when you would click this one. If it's evergreen and it's just gonna run with pre-recorded content, that's this one. Your traditional single webinar is going to be the standard and that's what we're gonna create. The event name, this is gonna be for one of my clients, so we're gonna call it Happiness Owning a Donkey. Yes, that's right, donkey, hee-haw, brain, all sorts of good stuff there. Uh, you can have different hosts. So right here, the host is me, Dave Shrine. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click Continue. And once you click continue, now you get into the custom configuration and you start by scheduling which session you wanna run. Now, why are there sessions and it's not just a single event? Well, you may wanna run the exact same webinar, not a series of webinars, but the exact same webinar today. And then you're gonna run it a week from now at the exact same time. And you're gonna run it again a week from then at the exact same time or Let's say you want to do one webinar, but you want to do an AM version and a PM version so different audiences can choose which one's most you know, helpful for them or which one's most convenient for them. That's why you would have different sessions. So we're going to click Schedule the Event. We're going to do a single date and time, not recurring times, just single date and time. Uh, this is going to be the 23rd of July. The time is going to be 5 p.m and we're gonna click Add Event to Schedule. Now, if you wanted to do recurring, meaning you wanted to do it every single Thursday from the 23rd for four weeks in a row, you could go ahead and just do that in recurring. recurring. But if you wanna do one on Thursday, and then you wanna do one on Friday, you would go ahead and you would create another single session, because uh, it's not a recurring, it's two independent uh, times. We're just gonna do one, we've got our event here, and we can go back, we can edit the date and time, or we can cancel the session, but we're good. What we're gonna move on to next is customizing the webinar experience, all the way from registration to replay. When we click on the Customize tab, Demio has made it really easy for you to access any of the different parts of the registration um, room or post room uh, slash integration experiences really fantastic that they've done this. I've used systems in the past where if you wanted to make one change, you had to go through every screen 
in order to make that single change, they have really streamlined it and made it simple here. So you click Registration, and I love this. Edit, customize your registration page. Now, I, I can go in and I can create a registration page with all sorts of different tools. WordPress, uh, landing page creators, all sorts of great tools out there. I love the fact that if I want to, I can just create a simple registration page. Demio's done a great job, let's customize it. So there's not a whole lot of options. If you really like controlling everything in your design, you might find this to be a little bit unhelpful. For me personally, I like having it just done and published. So we're gonna click the template, and first uh, you can click accent, where you just have it as one accent color here over on the left, and you've got your accent color here. You can select gradient, which is what they had at the very beginning, or you can select background image. I like running background image. I think that gives a little bit of pizzazz and a little bit of brand, so we're gonna upload our background image for this webinar. So our image is now uploaded. You can see it there in the background. They've got three very simple settings. And so if you're not web savvy, if you're not a designer, you are gonna love this. It just makes it simple. You can have low opacity, medium opacity, uh, or high opacity. And I guess it would be opacity for the covering black, not the opacity of the actual um, background image. So we'll do low opacity because it's already a dark image already and we're going to move on to branding. So branding is where you can upload your logo and you can set your color scheme. We're going to leave both of these set and the reason why these are pre-populated is because inside Demio there is a section in settings for branding where you can predefine what logo you want to use across the board and what accent color you would like to use across the board. So it pulls it in, pre-populates it, we're good to go. The next thing here is elements, and you can turn on and turn off different elements. So we're going to go ahead, we've got our headline, happiness owning a donkey. We're going to turn on the subheadline, and in the subheadline, we're going to enter 10 things you need to know about the donkey. And we'll click save subheadline, and now that pops up right there. So you got your headline, your subheadline. If you wanted to use a video, you could turn on video and paste a link. And so just to show you what that looks like, I'm gonna get a video from um, the client's YouTube channel and you know show you show you what you can expect if you wanted to use that particular uh, that particular feature. So we'll go ahead, grab it from YouTube, click save video, and you can see right down here it pulls in the featured trailer video. And um, really nice, simple. Maybe I would like it a little bit higher up, but you know what, folks will see this down here. They'll scroll down and they'll watch. I'm not gonna use a video, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. And there, it's gone. The next thing is the description. I am gonna use the description. I'm gonna go ahead, click description on. And now I have a basic text editor and just put in my text. I am going to reuse the text from a previous webinar called Happiness Owning a Donkey, uh, Happiness Owning a Mule, and I'm just gonna edit it for this one. After spending 10 minutes with a donkey, you know it ain't a horse, so why do so many folks keep treating it as if it were? Folks, I believe you want to know everything you can about the donkey so that you can be a great owner but also experience the joy of owning a donkey. During this free clinic workshop, I will be sharing with you the 10 things I wish I knew about donkeys before I ever bought my first non-horse Casper nearly four decades ago. We'll click Save Description, and there's our description right there. After that, we're gonna do Featured Presenter. We're gonna turn that on. Presenter name, Steve Edwards, uh, Queen, Valley, actually we'll do uh, owner, present our website. So if you are a mule or donkey owner and you are interested in finding some amazing training and amazing tack and saddles, you can go to muleranch.com. And then the presenter bio. Um, and finally, the presenter photo. Once that's uploaded, we're gonna go ahead and we'll click Add Presenter. 
and it's already added down here below. Now if I wanted to add another one, and I guess I could add myself because I'm going to co-host this with Steve, I would just click add new presenter. But I'm not going to co-host it. I am actually just going to ask him the questions and I'm going to let him be the sole. I guess I will co-host it, but I'll let him be the sole presenter because he knows about mules and donkeys and I do not. So now we'll check out of this. We've got our uh, headline, our subtitle. We've got our registration. We have our description. We have our presenter bio. And we've got a register button right here, which pulls the button, uh, the box down. Let's keep scrolling down to see that we now have social options. Why would we want social options? Well, you're going to share your webinar. And a lot of folks want to make sure when they share their webinar on Facebook, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, it pulls in an image and a title that is not Demio, that is not random, that is actually specific. So when you click on Edit Settings, you'll see that they've already put in the title and the subtitle as your social sharing information. But you can change that down here, the title and the description. Now I actually have a past page right here. So we're going to go ahead, grab this link, and I'm going to do a search for Facebook Debugger. So this is a little bit outside of what we're talking about with Demio, but I want to show you why these matter. So when we click on Facebook Debugger, as long as you're logged in, it'll come up to this page. You just paste in any link that you want to check and see what's this going to look like when I share it on Facebook. Click Debug, and that's exactly what it's going to show you, what it's going to look like when you share it on Facebook. So right here, you see I've got a graphic. I've got my title, I've got my description, all of that was written in by me on the previous clinic. So what we're going to do, we're just going to copy this and we're going to go copy and paste. And we'll say donkey. And then for description, we'll grab this and we're going to paste. We'll say donkey. I don't have my picture yet. Um, I've got Steve riding on a mule. I'm trying to find a great picture of Steve riding on a donkey. So I'm just going to leave this set for now and I'll click save open graph and now my registration page is done. That's all that I need to do. So if you have more that you want to communicate, if you have more that you want to say on a registration page or you want more control over the layout, you can use other tools and something that makes it a lot easier to use other tools with Demio than say some of the other webinar providers out there is Demio actually creates something called a unique registration link. Now I'm not going to get into the finer details of what that means, but I will tell you that if you're using a more sophisticated email system like say Drip and you want to send out all of your webinar emails through Drip, not through Demio, you can do that and you can provide a user's unique viewing link. So I'll show you those settings a little bit later and I'll, I'll explain to you what they mean. So we're done here. So we're going to go ahead, click Save and Close, and our registration page is done. If I wanted to adjust the fields that are available inside the registration page, so let's go back in, customize these fields. If I wanted to get more information from my users, I could go in and I could do add another field and I could say phone number, website, company, last name, or a custom field. The more fields you add, the fewer registrations you'll get, the, the lower your conversion rate will be. Uh, people want as little resistance as possible when they're handing over personal information. So we're just going to leave it at name and email. That's it. Right here is your GDPR. If this is checked, the emails will be sent over to your email provider. If the user does not check it, then they will not be sent over. And that's just a respect thing. Uh, you can delete it. So if you're not concerned about GDPR, you can go ahead and delete it. They add it there um, automatically for you. And then finally in the settings page, uh, you can customize how many people you want to allow to register, uh, how many sessions if you're running more than one you want to allow to be visible. So let's say you're running five sessions, but you really want people to sign up for the first one. You would just say, I only want to show the first session because I want as many people to sign up for the next date as possible. And then as soon as that session's expired, a new set, it'll show the next date, the, the next newest date, and so on and so forth. Or if you just want them to pick from, hey, how many, how many do we have? Let them choose from any of them. So this is irrelevant for me because I'm just running one, but 
you get the idea. We're going to click done and we're through with the registration process. Next we'll move into email notifications. Email notifications um, are fantastic especially if you have a small team and you really don't want to spend a lot of time crafting individual emails. Demio handles all of it and it makes it easy for you to go in and customize the email. Uh, this is by far the easiest email system that I've seen and the cleanest. I'm not going to say it's the best but it's the one I like the most. When you log in, this is, or when you open up the edit screen, this is what you're going to see. This is not changeable. This is not changeable. This is where you're able to add in additional text. Now, for me personally and this particular client, we're not going to mess with it. We're just going to leave it as is because that's really all we need for this event. It's a very low maintenance event. I love that it has the add to calendar option right here so they can click on that. It's going to add it to their calendar. Uh, it has the join button. And here is the your unique join link. All right, and see this link is unique to you and should not be shared. I'll show you why later. So we'll exit out of that. You've got your instant confirmation, 24 hours before, one hour before, 15 minutes before, and replay follow up. Now, if you want to send out a replay, just tick that box. Sends out a replay, you're good to go. If you don't want a replay, just tick it and make it set to off. That's it. Very, very simple. Now, if you want more emails than this, that's where you're going to want to make sure that you connect your email service provider and that all registrations get added to your email service provider and you can add any additional emails that you want. Let's say you really only want the day before or one hour before and then 15 minutes before. You could tick these off and then, um, well, you'd want to leave instant confirmation, I would think. Uh, but you can tick off 24 hours before, and then maybe you want to send your own through your email service provider. Whatever is most appropriate for you and your use case scenario, um, customize it for you. So we'll click Done. Now we can prepare the room in advance. And this is really where Demio has done a good job of leading webinar providers, as opposed to just doing what all other webinar providers allow. You can have resources, presentation materials and settings. So one question that I want to ask is in, or one thing that I want to do is ask a question. So we'll say a poll question. Have you seen, have you attended a Steve Edwards clinic in the past? Yes or no? Add resource. Now when I go into the room and we're running the webinar, I won't have to type out this question. It will show up in a resources section and I'll just click post. And it's going to push this question all the way to the front. Very, very, very cool. Another question that I may want to ask is uh, what do you own? So we'll do a poll. What equine do you own? Horse, mule, donkey, multiple, or none. And so, we'll click add resource and now when I ask that question, I don't have to type it up all there in real time. I just click publish and it's going to push that resource live in the room. Super helpful, really, really nice to have. Um, you can also do handouts, so if you have PDFs, uh, or images that you want people to download, you can add those. And if you wanted to do a featured action, so free saddle training course. We will put the link to the free saddle training course. Get it now. And if we wanted to upload an image, we could. We're not going to. We'll just click add resource. And now when I reference the free saddle training course, I can push that, it publishes live, and we're good to go. I love the options to prepare the room in advance. They have even gone further than this. There's presentation materials. So rather than figuring out how am I going to share my screen, which they make very easy, you could actually upload your slides or a video that you want to push out during the event before the event even happens. So if you've got your presentation done, you can export it 
upload it, and your slides will be available inside Demio. Now, one thing to note is that when you upload your slides, they down convert the resolutions. It says high resolution. Presentation slides will be converted into high resolution images. Um, so any animations or transition effects will be removed. So it does convert it to technically a high resolution. However, I have noticed in some of the more attractive images that I've created, slides that I've created, the actual quality of the image is lower. So if you really rely on high quality images and you want as much control as possible over how those look, you may not want to upload it. If you're just uploading slide on color, this might be a really good option. Likewise, if you want to show a video in the middle of your broadcast, as long as it's a YouTube video, paste it right there. And then when the time comes in the webinar to say, let's watch this video, you've got your presentation material right there. You don't have to finagle with what screen am I sharing and can you guys hear this and none of that stuff. You just publish it and it goes. So I really like the material. And then finally you have settings down here and this is a great branding feature. You can make the chat public where people can see and communicate with other people in the room or you can make the chat private. And if you make the chat private, only you as the admin will be able to see what people are saying. Finally, post session redirect, as soon as you click done, you can have them redirect to another URL. So I could have them go to HTTP uh, www.muleranch.com. If I wanted to send them to my YouTube, I could do that and then they would subscribe to YouTube. So I'll just go ahead and I'll leave that set. We'll click done. So now my room is all taken care of. If at any point in time I come back and I have new slides, if I have new images, if I have new videos that I want to include, you just click on room and add and you're good. So now let's go to event admins. So you'll see that I'm right here. So I've got a team member and I've got a guest. So let's go ahead and add a guest. We'll add Steve Edwards and we'll do steve at muleranch.com. We'll make him a presenter and we'll have him for all sessions. And so we're going to then add him Let's see, copy join link, manage notifications. If I so copy join link, that's the link that's going to be sent uniquely to uh, to me. And then if I click add admin, you'll see all of these sessions are then available for Steve. Copy join link, ring send confirmation, manage notifications. So when do I want him to get notifications? And these are going to give him admin links to log in. And then down here, edit admin, where I can change the settings that I already made. Really, really, really nice, really, really easy. I do recommend that you and any hosts or admins that are going to be participating, you log in well before your event time. Matter of fact, I had thought I'd done a good job about this. I had 90 minutes before me and Steve did our first webinar. By the time we got his machine working and made sure that all of the video worked, all of the audio worked, and uh, made sure that he was able to do what he needed to do in the session, we had 10 minutes left. So I recommend doing this probably 24 hours ahead of time, um, at least the day before. If not a full 24 hours, at least the day before. You click done, you can move on to general. And this is very simple, self-explanatory. What time zone? Make sure you get this right, set it to your time zone, and what language? Finally, integrations. And it truly is supercharging your event. Now we use Drip for Queen Valley Mule Ranch. If I want information that is created with this Demio webinar sent over to Drip, all I have to do is set up my integration, and I'll show you that before the video is done, and then inside of the webinar itself, click on. Here I can select which company I want to send the information to, so we're going to say Queen Valley Mule Ranch, and then I can choose where I want to send them, campaigns or workflows. We'll say workflows, and then it'll bring in all my workflows. For now, I'm just going to say webinar, mule happiness, attendees. Do I want to add a tag to people who attend? Do I want to add a tag to people who don't show? This is very, very helpful because let's say you're running a sale after the webinar, but you only want that sale available to people who showed up. Then you could say, well, add a tag, showed up, and then inside of your email service provider, such as Drip, you could set a rule or you could set a uh, workflow with a rule that says, only, like, 
when somebody gets this tag, showed up, send this email or these emails or mark them as this. Whereas if they didn't show up, you, can, you could say add a tag, did not show up, and then in your email service provider, you could go ahead and say, if someone didn't show up, tell them better luck next time. Right now, just for our purposes, I'm going to uh, do nothing. Let's see, how do I delete this? Remove tag, let's see, can I get them? Let's see, new wrench, workflows. There we go. Uh, we are going to leave this as is. In the form section, uh, you can connect your fields to whatever custom field you have inside of Drip. Um, so I do not believe, I, th I don't know where this goes, so I'm gonna leave that set for now. We'll click Save Integration, and now whenever somebody opens up uh, registration and fills in the information, they're gonna be added into Drip. Finally, if you wanna use custom codes such as maybe you wanna know how many people are registering for my event, from a Facebook ad. Well, on the thank you page, you could inject custom code and you could do your Facebook lead pixel with the, your Facebook pixel with the lead standard event. If you wanted to know how many people are viewing my page, I just wanna see how many people view my page from Facebook. Then right here, you could add your Facebook pixel and from here, you would then add the standard event uh, page view. Uh, if you're going to use the Facebook pixel on any, you want to make sure you have the Facebook pixel, pixel on all of them. So thank you page, replay page, webinar room. So for instance, you have created a, uh, a custom audience and you say anybody who, who triggers a custom pixel event called viewed webinar, you want to add them to a particular audience. That's, that's how you would do that. So a lot of really cool options that you could run with uh, analytics tracking as well as advertising pickle, pixels. We're not gonna get into that right now. Um, advertising pickles sound actually really good, so now I wanna pickle, but we're not gonna get into that. It's really great uh, feature and you can add multiple, uh, multiple codes based upon where you want them to go. We'll just exit out. Now you are done setting up your webinar. Pretty easy. I don't know how long this has been going, but We've done the whole thing in probably less than, what, 20 minutes, 30 minutes? Let's move on to sharing. Couldn't be simpler. Copy your link, share your link. If you wanna embed it, so let's say you wanna use your own website, you don't wanna use the registration page, but you do wanna use the registration form set up by Demio, just go to embed options, inline embed, or popover embed. Inline embed means it's just gonna show this right here wherever you place this code on your website. You can change the button text. You can say, get signed up now. Uh, styled HTML form, or you can say unstyled. And then it will inherit whatever styles are assigned to your theme, your website, your web page. If you wanted to do a popover, this is it. And then you click it and here is your popover. These are just very simple very nice, very polished options from Demio. Other webinar providers have not done this in the past. I would not be surprised if you see more catching up, making it just stupid simple like the people at Demio have done. But um, right now, I, I just don't see anybody else making it as easy and as clean as these guys have done. Finally, the last tab is activity. And this is gonna show you, and this is why that individual unique link is so important. Not only is it gonna show you how many people registered, what days they registered, but after your event, you can come into this activity tab and it will show you the individual people who viewed, who didn't view, how long did they view for. There's a lot of really great marketing follow-up and audience segmentation you can do when you know the exact behaviors of people who attend. Now to further show you what these look like, I'm gonna go into a past event and I'm gonna bring up happiness owning a mule and we're gonna see past sessions and already I can see these basic stats. 262 registered, 92 attended, which is really good. 30% attendance is, is good by everything I've heard. 170 missed and 126 messages. Really good engagement. Right here we can share the replay, view insights or download the recording. 
Now this particular video, we downloaded the recording and we're doing some really special things with this recording. And we're going to sell the recording, but we're going to enhance it. We're going to add real live video footage of Steve doing what he's talking about in the webinar. So lots of really great stuff you can do. It makes the download available and it also allows you to share the replay very quickly. We're going to click Insights. Right here, it's going to show you the trends of when people registered. No surprise, the majority of the registrations really came in at the last day. You saw a huge peak uh, the last two days. And then scrolling down, you can see the attendance summary. We had really good attendance by everything I've seen. We went an hour and 35 minutes long at 59 minutes. Right about here is when we started taking questions. And you can see we had a really, really good focused attendance all the way through our presentation up until we started taking questions and then it drastically dipped down. I'm very happy with the way this went and I love that Demio gives me these, uh, these options. Now down here you can see the resources that we shared. Have you seen Steve's feed and nutrition video? 26 people answered, 29% of attendees and here are the results. Featured action sent them to this YouTube link. Five people clicked it. Feed Free feed and nutrition video, 24 people clicked it. You can go through and see the engagement rate. This really allows for people to stay engaged throughout the entire event. You're giving them something to do. Now, if we go into people, you're going to see the individual registrants when they joined, if they attend and when they joined, and what session they joined which session they join themselves. So if you have multiple, this is very helpful. Uh, the registration date and time and then their personal information, which obviously I blurred that out. Now you can export your CS CSV and you can move that wherever you need to. You can filter through all registered, attended, and missed and you can um, export those particular segmentations. Very, very, very powerful features from Demio as far as following up with the individuals from your webinar. Uh, if you have a marketing mind, uh, it's probably already turning and you're coming up with amazing ideas. Finally, what I want to do is I want to go in and show you some of the additional options. First, you have your profile options. You can go in here and set your name, your last name, the email address you want to use, and change your password. Inside of general, it gives you the ability to set up your company name your default time zone, your default language, and your default GDPR settings. One thing to note is that Demio is company specific, one account per company. Now they don't say that, but the settings reflect that. So if you're wanting to use the same account for multiple companies, you're going to be pretty frustrated pretty quickly because you can only have one company name and that gets used throughout the entire platform. When you add your branding, you can only have one logo. You can change the logo out and you can change the color scheme, but that's just for the registration page. When we're talking about uh, the confirmations and webinar rooms, you cannot change those. So you can go in and change the webinar pages and change the colors and the logos, but on the emails and inside the room, you may not change those items um, as far as I know. Now, maybe they've made a change to this, but in my experience, you cannot. Uh, likewise, if you go to profile, it's the same email that things go out from. So it really does become company specific. You do, let's go back to branding. Uh, you can change your logo and your color scheme like I shared earlier. Inside billing, you can change your account and you can adjust exactly what your account should be. If you think you're going to have, a Demio's plans are based upon room attendees, not registration. So you could have a thousand people register and have one person attend and you'd be fine with the lowest plan possible. You want to set your plan based upon how many people you think are going to attend. So I moved up to 150 attendees before we went live because I saw we had over 150 registrations. It was a good thing I did that because the plans are 50 to 150. We had 92 people attend. So it was a good thing I moved up. If people get to your webinar room and they try to log in and there's already your max number of attendees, it'll say waiting for a seat to be available or something along that. So they won't actually be able to get in. So if you want everybody to get in, make sure you adjust your plan. Right here with the API settings, um, this allows you to connect with all sorts of different applications if you want to do that. 
right here are your integrations. So you'll see I've got drip set up right here. It's very easy to set up, very clean. You can add more team members if you have a bigger plan. And then finally, here are your email settings. This is where you can set the email that is used for all of the messages that get sent out from Demio. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't change based upon um, webinars. It's the same one used across the board. So it really is company specific. Folks, that's a walkthrough on Demio. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope it really uh, helped you see if Demio is the right platform for you. It's very simple, very clean, very easy. I, I love using it. Um, I bought into Demio right when I found out about them, um, probably within a year of them coming out, and I've been thrilled. Their customer support has been fantastic. Um, the, the founders of the company are very active and they do a really good job of keeping their platform up. It has not become one of these platforms where they just get a bunch of users and then they let it go stale. It's actively developed and you can, are constantly getting notifications from the Demio team uh, that new options are being added, new features are being added. And so if we even look right here, right here, latest changes, here are three latest changes and um, that's just the latest three. There's all sorts of things uh, that they're doing that uh, aren't mentioned there and that will be coming out. Like I said, please like this video if it was helpful. Subscribe to my channel if you dig my vibe and you like the way I talk about and share marketing and marketing tools. And uh, if you have comments, put them in the comment section below. I will be more than happy to answer them to the best of my ability and share with you anything uh, that I can to help you get results in your marketing. Finally, I have affiliate links below for Demio. They have a great affiliate plan and I have affiliate link below for Drip. It's a fantastic email marketing system. It really takes the power of Infusionsoft and the simplicity of MailChimp, combines it together uh, in a very affordable pricing. I think you'll love it. Thank you so much and take care.